process of converting from a design in CAD into G-code capable of being executed by a CNC mill or lathe is not just digital or computer-based. The setup requires decisions about physical factors for the machining process, like how the stock material will be held in the machine, called the work holding, which tools will be used, what order features will be machined in, and whether the stock will need to be reorientated to machine a second or even third side of the part. Once these decisions have been made, the following workflow is used for each operation or each set of operations that share the same work holding position. The conversion moves from the CAD file and machining plan into the CAM software. CAM stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing and this software allows users to create machine movements called toolpaths that describe how the machine will move as it carries out machining operations. This is followed by a post-processor that converts the toolpaths into G-codes, which are a sequence of instructions for the controller of the machine. Let's take a look at this process in a little more detail. After importing the CAD geometry into the CAM software, the Work Coordinate System, or WCS, is defined. This is the location of the origin, or 0, 0, 0 in the XY axes. This is usually a known point, like the corner of the stock material or a key feature on the part. The size and shape of the stock material is also defined at this point. The work coordinate system is what allows us to match the movements described in the CAM software to the physical movements of the machine later in the process. And now that we've defined the WCS, we can begin to define cutting operations. There are a large selection of operations available, depending on the type of cut we're required to make. These might be 2D operations that cut a single plane or 3D operations which can be used to machine complex pockets or curved surfaces. In general, we approach cutting operations in two phases, roughing toolpaths and finishing toolpaths. Roughing toolpaths are used to remove larger amounts of material, but their actions are designed with efficiency rather than precision in mind. Finishing toolpaths are designed to remove small amounts of material and leave the best finished possible. For each of these phases, the software allows us to define how much material is taken away with each pass of the cutting tool and how fast the machine moves while doing this. These settings will be specific to the machine and the tool being used, as well as the material being machined. It might be necessary to set up many machining operations in order to manufacture a single piece of work. Each operation could use a different tool shape or size to help it achieve its goal. Or an operation might focus on a single feature, such as a hole or surface. In this simple example, there are three operations. The first is a 2D operation, which creates two hole features. The second operation drills holes in the center of the part. The final operation machines around the outer profile of the part to separate it from the material. Once operations have been defined, they can be exported to the post-processor. The post-processor takes the toolpaths and converts them into G-code, with settings specific to the machine being used. This is because machines have different controllers, features and capabilities, and the G-code and M-codes can be tailored to make the most of each of these features. The generated G-code is transferred to the controller to be run. But before being run, the stock is placed in the machine with the same orientation as defined in the CAM software and the work origin is set to match that defined in the software.